Uh, my name is Dave Horsley. I'm here today to give instructions on how to properly set up an N3 uh, optical level. Precision equipment and rental uh, in St. Catharines is going to be providing this video. The, the stand itself is important that it be level first. Remember now, we're trying to set machinery. So you're, you're trying to keep your accuracy high and above all, consistency, which is very hard to do. So you've got to make things on an equal playing ground. So I've got the stand set up on this tripod and it's level. I use a, whoops, I use a little target bubble. You can also use a, any type of a level you want, but this seems to work the best. Just set it on there and set the legs. Okay, now we're going to get the level out. Uh, check the bottom, make sure there's no dust or dirt on it. Now this next part here is very important. When we place it on the stand, make sure there's no grid on it. We'll attach the bottom, not tightening it. Now, this is very important. We're going to aim the tri rack adjusting screws over these legs. This is very important for precision alignment. And it means that the 90 degree hook is over this leg here. So now we're going to tighten it up. Make sure it stays nice and free. On, as you know, the N3 has a setup bowl on the side here. What we're going to do is center it. So we're going to use the screws down here. This is just a rough set. There we are there now. Now the next part is we've got to make it level internally. And that's done with the coincidence bubble internally inside. So we're going to aim the entry along this axis in line with these legs. Notice the diagram over here to the right. Now I'm going to remove my eyes or uh, glasses and have a look in here. Focus, focus the instrument. And you can't see in here, but the coincidence bubbles are askew, like this. So I'm going to bring this back level by the use of this coincidence bubble. I'm turning it in the direction of the arrow. I'm bringing it down very close. Now I have zero bubble at this point internally. Now I'm going to spin the bubble to level 180 degrees like this. Now I'm going to look back into the level again and see where the coincidence is set. Now at the moment it's completely split, so what we have to do is half the error. We have to take half the error out of the leveling screws and half the error out of the coincidence bubble. So what I'm going to do is bring them back between the two screws so I've got zero bubble. Half out of this screw, half out of the other screw. It's very touchy. Now I'm going to take the other half of it out on the, on the coincidence screw. Now, I've got one bubble there. Now you may have to do this several times. Taking half out, you may have to do it two or three times. So I'm going to spin it back again over the legs. And I'll do the rest down here.
Even I have to do it two or three times sometimes. It's so touchy. We're very close now. Okay, one more time. Now, in both directions on this plane, on this axis, we have zero bubble. But that still remains here. We still have to adjust this. So we're going to turn it 90 degrees. Like so. Now, at this point, you don't touch a coincidence bubble anymore. You do it all down on the thumb screws here. And we bring it in. Very, very close. Now, it's very important that this step is done correctly. Do not get on that screw. Use it all down on the tri back screw. Now, it's level there, and we may have to adjust it here again a little bit, but maybe not. It looks pretty good. And there we have it. The instrument now is level. Okay? And from this point on, you can use it. And that's it. <laughs> Thanks very much.